trike lasagne yet? If not, and you're American, you should know about it because it's probably coursing through your veins right now. And there's a good chance it can screw you up. Here's the lousy story about it. The FDA has known about the potential long-term health dangers of triclosan since 1978, when they first proposed removing it from consumer products, 35 years ago. It's been documented to disrupt endocrine systems in lab tests, which means it messes with hormones that deal with reproduction and brain development. It's been linked to poor sperm quality, infertility, learning disabilities, and memory problems. The FDA knew that back in 1978, but they didn't bother writing any rules or regulations for our product makers to follow. Other countries have already banned the use of triclosan in consumer products, but our corporate geniuses are free to put it in all of their crappy products. In 1997, the FDA approved Colgate Total for market, which contains triclosan. And nowadays, triclosan is in a ton of our soaps, even though the FDA admits it probably has no real benefit as an antibacterial agent. In fact, it's been found to contribute to the development of antibiotic-resistant bacteria, which is very bad. So it's in toothpaste with a direct line to the bloodstream, and it's in soap, where it can be absorbed through the skin. So there's a decent chance that it's seeping right into us and screwing with our endocrine systems. In fact, it's now so pervasive that in biomonitoring tests, residues of triclosan were found in 75% of Americans over six years old. It was found in most people's blood, urine, and even breast milk. One group that's raising the alarm now is the NRDC, or Natural Resources Defense Council. This past year, they requested the FDA's records about their 1997 approval of Colgate Total under the Freedom of Information Act. Since the FDA hasn't complied, the NRDC is now suing the FDA. Good for them, because what the hell is up with that? How can the FDA just continue to let product makers include triclosan as an ingredient, even though they've known it's bad for 35 years? Maybe it's because the FDA is just a bunch of bureaucratic idiots who don't do anything right because our system is utter crap. That's what I happen to think. But maybe it's just all that triclosan coursing through my veins talking. Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident.